couple ways to do this. We can use gray markers to start or brown markers, or we can just go for it and start drawing. I'm just gonna grab my brush pen or a brush pen. Got two pretty great options here. This is a Zig Mangaka, and this is a Kuretake Fudego Kochi. Fude, Fudego Kochi. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining sketch a day live <laughs> and yes this is black ross hello hello <laughs> all right so let's kick things off with just a couple rocks and i mean i'm no geologist certainly but what I'm going to do here is just use this marker to create some shapes. Maybe I should study rocks a bit more, but thought it would be fun. Just do some, some quick rock formations here. And what I'm doing is just using the marker to create some nice shadows, right? Some value changes, differences there. I don't know why that got loud all of a sudden. So just some, some darker value areas in here, right? Which is going to correlate with the light as well. So pretty easy if you you know, think of a light source. I don't know why this keeps turning out, by the way. All right. I may have to stop the music if it keeps misbehaving. So this is the nature show. We're just doing stuff from nature, rocks, trees, leaves. Plants, animals, all that good stuff. What's up, Remy? Lynette, always dependable. Okay, so got some simple shapes here. I'm actually using printer paper. I didn't mean to use printer paper <laughs> for this. So let me grab a marker paper pad for the next, next few sketches. As always, these will be available for download on the Google Drive. And so with my brush pen, I'm just trying to enhance the shapes where it needs it and add some clarity. You know, maybe I need to fill in this area here a bit more, make that a little darker, for example. So you can kind of pull, pull your shapes out this way. And now this brush pen I can use for texture or just getting getting those rock shapes or formations in. Like I said, I'm not a geologist, so I'm just using my best approximation here. And for these, I'm not using any reference, but I do live in Utah and I've seen quite a bit of rocks around, you could say. So just pulling, pulling from, from my memory a little bit. All right, so there's one example of how you might do some sort of rocks. Same thing here. And just being careful to kind of respect the shading that I had initially. All right, Instagrammers, we're gonna peel out, but we're gonna be doing some animal stuff, plants, all of that naturey, naturey stuff. So if you wanna be a part of that, Head on over to youtube.com slash sketchaday.com or you can go to sketchaday.com slash video and you should be able to catch the live stream there. Let's go ahead and 
push some of this shadowing. Okay, so I was using, let's see, E33. So I'm gonna grab this E35. Yeah. 35, maybe 37. Make some of these spots a little darker. So I am using Copic markers here. Like I said, I don't do a lot of nature stuff. I probably should do more. Um, so today's video stream will be a bit of me experimenting as well. So as long as you guys are on board for that, we're going to continue. All right, Instagrammers, peace out. If you want to catch the rest, hit up the YouTube. See you later. Man, now that we got rid of those jokers, I always say that. I'm starting to be like my dad, where I have like sayings or stuff like that. I feel like parents just have a way of saying these like things that make you just roll your eyes, right? You know? I'm certainly turning into that parent. I even busted out my paints today, so if we want to do stuff. What's up, David, with two Ds? All right, let's go ahead and you know, work on some more of these. If there are specific animals you guys are thinking of, let me know. I pulled up a few on my computer this morning just to get some reference and kind of create a strategy for how I might sketch those, but if there's something you want to see specifically, let me know. I know. Last time, I don't remember who said it, but they wanted a dolphin. It might have been Dirk. Um, so I could look into that. Just nice light, light touch. Notice how far up the barrel I'm holding the tool as well. Varying that pressure. All right, just like that. And here as well, I do want to en uh, enhance some of the shadowing. So particularly where we have some of these creases, kind of want to put some bluish gray on these for shadows as well. I'm tempted to, to try that out, but All right, something like that. And then let's go ahead and, ooh, alpaca. Let's finish out this guy here. I'm gonna switch to my cheap, cheap Ohuhu markers that have been so far dependable. All right, I was gonna, let's see, blue gray. So I need to get my blue grays. Apparently my coffee has not kicked in yet. Feeling sluggish. I even worked out. Okay, we'll do an alpaca. What is it about alpacas that people like? I feel like it's a thing. You know? People just love them, uh, them alpacas. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, for the shadows, I feel like Having the shadows be like a cool gray here makes sense. Because shadows tend to be cool. So let's just play with that a little bit. And if we don't like it, that's okay. You know, part of drawing, I think, is being willing to experiment with some stuff and see how it turns out. I 
if it works, great. And if it doesn't, hey, we learned something new. Happy little alpaca. Yeah, I'm working on something Black Ross themed. I was hoping to have it done today, but it is not finished. So not ready to show you to show that to you guys. But it will be a thing. Yeah, so this is definitely more of a desert landscape type of thing here. This, I'm not really sure what's going on. But we'll keep it going. I don't usually give up on a drawing unless it's like really, 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 really bad. Um, I feel like you can salvage a lot of things. Usually. This is already feeling better. And if we want to separate it from the background a little bit as well. You know, just the line weight in the right spots. It's going to kind of help help do that. And there's some like sagebrushy type things. Or grasses or something. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the show. Something a little different today here on Sketch Day. Maybe we could do a people show one day where I just draw people. How I draw people. See what you guys think. That could be a pretty fun one. All right, a couple more lines here, and then I think we're going to switch to a few plants. And animals would be the last, or I can make, or I can switch it up too, either way. If you're joining from Instagram, thank you for making it this far. We do this three times a week. I will be back on Adobe Live as well next week. So that's something I'll be doing. And those are going to be early, early morning shows. So it shouldn't affect anything I'm doing here. So don't worry. I'll still be... Still be here on Wednesday and Sunday and Friday for Sketch Day Live. Happy alpaca. Okay. So alpaca is one. We'll do an alpaca. Actually, we'll do a page of alpacas because it's going to take me a few tries. And my plan is to show you guys all the tries. I think hands are harder than faces for me, Lynette. At least hands from memory. Super hard. But my general approach, which you'll kind of see today, is to think about the geometry, the underlying geometry of a thing, so that I can uh, draw that thing the right way. All right. Kind of want to do some sky here. Quick test. Yeah, this is just regular printer paper. So I am sacrificing my Copic markers for you guys today. That's how much I love you. I don't even think I have a refill for this one. And this one kind of feels a little bit dry. Or it might just be the paper. Oh, man down. We lost our lips templates, but that's okay because I don't really use them much. All right, just a little bit of blue there. Keep it nice and 
nice and loose. And then maybe a peach for the sky. Peach or pink or just something interesting like that. Let's see. Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. I'm excited. I just got a CNC router and I'm almost done setting it up. If you don't know what that is, it's a thing that's gonna help me cut shapes out of wood. So I'm really excited about that. As I do a little furniture building on the side, it's a thing I do. Purple there. Just to make the composition a little bit more interesting. And I actually like the streaks in the marker stroke because it almost feels like clouds in the sky. So that's kind of cool. And then up here, I'm going to just try and make a little bit deeper blue if I can. <laughs> 